they need a lot of work. I saw some photos and I saw some imaging and I don't think it's professional. What are you doing? We are in the process of getting a pro website as well as pro pictures. Ah! He said, okay, I have a challenge for you. He said, I'm coming back for your show at TT the Bears. If it's as packed and as off the hook as you guys say it is, I'm putting on a show at South by Southwest, which is the biggest music conference of the year. I'll get you guys on the show. Oh, that's incredible. My that's God. like my dream to play South by Southwest. It's up to them now to deliver. I'm so excited to finally get professional photography done for the band. I feel like a movie star, or a rock star. We were in this awesome warehouse. We have clothes ready for us to put on. We have everybody here helping us out. I should be like shopping today and like, you know, making my kids lunch. And I'm here playing music in a warehouse in Boston. This would look really great with the black pants. Okay. This so this one too. That's really cool. All right. So now underneath, try these two shirts on first. Let me see what they look like, and then we'll put the jackets on. Okay. All right. This is like a dream day. <laughs> like yesterday, I was waitressing and sweating. Today I'm being made up like a queen. I feel very excited because uh, of the special attention. Hi. Getting your hair done, getting makeup done. I've never had false eyelashes before, so it's like. I'm psyched. Well, oh, okay, I've never used that before. That scared me. I'm going to have you look right here. Okay. Okay? Upgrading our image, enhancing our image, whatever you want to use. I'm so excited for that. It's like I want to look like how I feel when I'm playing. Angry, fun, and energized all at the same time. They're all being themselves. My lane's being my lane. <laughs> And Tammy's just like, and Lisa's just, yeah, everybody's just, and of course Emily and Lisa, <laughs> still looking for clothes. <laughs> I don't know. We're like a blues jam, like rock band, and some of these things are not really in the vein of that. Blues rock jam band? No. Uh, that's like a maternity dress. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I wore stuff like this when I was pregnant. Like, <laughs> We have a show coming up January 6th. And if Scott comes January 6th to a gig that has the energy that he hopes for, the people there that he hopes for, he will get us into South by Southwest. And I have not had the time to send the email to our entire HRT database, even letting them know. But that's the biggest fear, marketing our show and getting people there. The sales for the show will be a source of stress for me. And we won't know until we play that night if we did a good job marketing and getting people out. And that's the challenge. All right, so we like this look. So should I try something else on? Yeah, try this on. Or have we struck gold in the first try? Well, we struck the first shot. New, no, it's different. It's very invasive to have a stranger stuck in your face first thing in the morning. Oh, that's happened back in college. I said that aloud, didn't I? <laughs> I've worn satin since uh, the 70s when I was like six years old. So it's like, ooh, satin. Do you like this? No. No. <laughs> I was originally wearing this. I didn't like that on you. I don't like it. It's not flattering. Yeah. No. I like the black one. You gotta wear the yeah, black really? one. Yeah, really? It looks great on you. It feels like frumpy or something. No, it's so cool. It's totally cool and it looks great with your outfit. And you can buckle it. I think it's a I have real look. waist though. Do so you want to go look at I'm yourself? Look like that, if that's all right. So I just have to remember that. <laughs> I haven't had two kids. <laughs> I'm insecure. I no, that's a wrong line. You know the little rollover you get from your stomach being out to here for a few years? Be scared of me. This is supposed to be a good topic, right? Yeah.
All right, let's do an outfit change. Do you want some cleavage? So I can pull them up. Yeah. Oh, boy, that's, oh, that's great. Awesome! I thought it was insane! I think this is the new HRT. 100% rock. <laughs> I usually don't wear that much makeup, so this is like, wow. But I've always heard that you have to put on triple amounts of makeup when you're going to get your photo taken. So I'm sending him a picture of me. That is so all my makeup cool. on. Like, <laughs> Pinky girlfriend, that's you. That's right. Is this a good time to write a song? It's a great time to write a song. It's always a good time to write a song. Let's write a song. set up and start playing. That's what I'm, that's going to be the best part. This will ruin my makeup. Hi, my name is Marlon. <laughs> I'm with the band HIT and he finds me sexy. Yuki, you can come over here. Transform. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great. I'm really at my best when I'm singing. Yeah, you looked great. Yeah. I mean, she really read us right. The place she picked was great. The clothes, the jewelry, and as you can see, I bought something new. I'm psyched. Camouflage dog tag. How cool is that? They really gave the attitude that I was looking for, which is really great. That's what we really needed to do. And I think that uh, they were pretty happy with the results. There is nothing about that that the photo shoot today that screams mommy. Nothing. I think this is the new HRT. What was the photo shoot? Oh, so, well, look at my makeup. Hi, I took off my false eyelashes. Hey. Hi, Mama. How's my soccer star? Good. I wear so much makeup. That was all from the photo shoot today. Fancy photographs. Do you like my fake eyelashes? Those are fake. Yeah, no wonder I. She put on fake eyelashes. Oh, very nice. They put on like a half inch of like pancake makeup and like blush, and then they would put like mascara and eyeliner. Well, did they come and out gloss. like you had that much? No, oh. it looks good. I bought myself a necklace from the stylist. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What is this? What? You can't wear this. Why? <laughs> it's a 
I think it's a. I'm not a gun guy. I think it's a bullet. I guess it's you like my well, it's, it's a decorative bullet. It's not the kind that actually can pierce you. I just liked it because it was. I thought it was cool. Be careful. You think can't go so off. Can it? Like, the thing can't go off. God, you know, your brilliance overwhelms me. The photographer was amazing. She had like this camera that had a really long cord. You could hook it up to the computer. So while you're taking the photos, another guy checks on the computer to make sure it looks good. So like, how many pictures do you have? I, I know oh nothing God, about this. Oh God, she must have taken 150. And then how many do you have for a shot? Well, meet with her, pick out 150. You could tell they were pros, but they had clothes for us. And one of the one of the shirts, you would have been like, ah, not wearing that. It was like purple and yellow polka dots. Yeah. yeah. What about the other girls? Were they? Everyone was like was unbelievable. Oh my god, it was awesome. You're like you look old, Ma. I know. You know. I do. <laughs> Only old ladies are supposed to wear lots of makeup. Really? Old ladies? I didn't know that. She's an old drummer lady. Right. What do you think of that? Going to Kiss 108, Maddie, in the morning, tomorrow morning. It's a BAM called Hormone Replacement Therapy. Ladies, welcome. This is taking a sad turn. <laughs> Stop on. looking at the drummer. Well, I'll tell the you drummer what. can't help you. Hold on. When you're oh, out, my. you are not <laughs> coming back. Giant name tags. These are the biggest name yeah, tags I've ever seen. Up high so you can see. You know what? High. When I'm at any events and I have to wear name tags, uh, I never do. So you want to hear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he can read your names when he's talking to you and tell who's who. Oh, let's switch it. You want it? That's me. Talking about <laughs> So what are we doing here? I was talking to Andre, and I said, I know you're very friendly with Maddie. Do you think he would be willing to interview us on air so we can promote the show that we need to sell out? And he said, sure. So we emails, and I get an email, 6.30. It was email. the morning, because you called very early. early. Right. Your voice is shaking. <laughs> We're going to Kiss 108, Maddie, in the morning, tomorrow morning. That she's quiet. I'm like, so how are you? <laughs> We definitely hit the press this week between yeah. the Boston Magazine being out. Nice work, Kiss Wendy. I love being a media whore. <laughs> I'm good at it. You are. You, you love being any whore. <laughs> Not just a media whore. So any whore. What was the Boston Magazine about? My fantasy. Oh, or my, my nonsense. My non-sexual. <laughs> That's fantasy. what they. I'm living my ultimate fantasy. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. It's I, not I have your ultimate fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> my ultimate non-sexual fantasy. You don't know what it is anyway. I don't. I know what yours is. I just wanted to <laughs> You know what? Boston Magazine, for the 17 words they put under our huge photo, they never checked the fact that, was that truly my non-sexual fantasy? I have to say, I'm really sorry. I, I rolled my eyes a little. I saw Marlena said, my, okay, my ultimate non-sexual oh. fantasy. I'm like, oh. it shows me. I don't know. I was. I was like, I don't know. No offense. I mean, I, I, I love all the things that you say, but I, I was like, why they put that one in? Why they, I was surprised right. that they oh, added. They weren't bummed at me. No, I wasn't bummed at you. But no, it's our typical banter. I was like, why can't believe they added that? Like, right, sex sells. Right. But it's typical oh. banter. It is what you say. So it, they put it in because you, know you said it. it well, it's non-sexual. So it's non-sex that's selling at this point. But hey, you, you know, know what? If they thought it was <laughs> appropriate, you, this is more conservative and doesn't like our sexual. I'm, I'm a little more conservative banter, <laughs> but. It made it fun. Yeah, it, you know, it did. It like, did. You know, it no, I didn't roll my eyes at you, though. I was just like, I was surprised. No, I, 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 I was like, oh, I got why that. they put that in? I don't think you've ever rolled your eyes at me. No, you. I've never been. Why? All right, I have a, just I have like the Go Go's in here. I mean, they're not really the Go Go's, but they look like the Go Go's to me. It's a band called Hormone Replacement Therapy. Ladies, welcome. <laughs> now, are you it, all from Sharon or just you? Four of us are from Sharon. Yeah, Brockton. Yeah. And Marion's oh. from Brockton. So there's a little street. Let me get this straight. Now, you are the, you're all of 40 ish? I turned the yeah. big four all this year. 32. All of you have children, correct? No. No. She well, not you. Not Brockton. Does it. <laughs> no, I've got two cats. <laughs> yeah. The four of us all have kids. Yeah. We all have kids. Three are married. Yeah. Three are married. Oh, yeah. I live, live with my parents. <laughs> my Do you really? Are... 38. Wow. And I live with my... I couldn't afford Boston Listen, if anymore. any of my four daughters are listening, are when oh you're my. out, you are not <laughs> coming back. <laughs> oh, that is just a sad... This is taking a sad turn. I thought this was going to be, be an uplifting segment. Oh, come it's on. Great that's that's rock and roll. Oh, wow. Musicians who are suffering enough to live with their parents, that's rock That's true. Or be more like the blues. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now, so all of this is leading up to my main question. Are the songs that you perform... 
songs about your life at this stage? No. Well, yes, no. <laughs> they were. They used to be. Some of our stuff is is cynical and comical in terms of a commentary on human nature. Mm -hmm. There are no lyrics about laundry. There are no lyrics about cooking or knitting oh, or really? anything to do with kids. Oh. Well, Lisa, do you have one that sort of, you know, symbolizes what you do? Yeah. Oh, well, Lisa, you're oh, the yeah. singer. Who I know I am. Stop I'm looking at the drummer. Well, I'll tell you the why drummer I'm can't help you. Hold on. Let me tell you why I'm looking at the drummer. The drummer writes a lot of the lyrics. Oh, uh -huh. she's she the writer. She writes the majority of the lyrics. Oh, so. I see. Malignant self-love is banned by the EPA. Your pollution is choking me. Tell me more about your day. Narcissus calls you conceited. Damn, you have no shame. When I start to talk about me, your mind just starts to stray. So what you're gonna say? I'd love to hear you talk again, but I'm riveted, oh so riveted. Tell me that joke again. I'm riveted, oh so riveted. I'd love to hear you talk again, cause I'm riveted, oh so riveted. Tell me that joke again. Ooh, so riveted. Oh my God, she can really sing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I thought, well, the whole, the whole thing was set up. I thought it was sort of a, yeah. a joke, kind of, not a joke. Bit. Well, you know what I mean, kind of, they have yeah. a funny name, and yeah. they have a funny name and all that. I did, they can really no, sing. This sounds cool. I wish yeah. you brought your instruments. You know, well, yeah. I don't know how that would. We're very loud. Wouldn't have fit. <laughs> yeah. Probably wouldn't have fit yeah. here in the studio. Now, you're at uh, where, T T the Bears, or no? T.T. Yeah. The Bears. Yeah, T.T. The, the Bears, Bears in, in Cambridge. Cambridge. And, that, and when is that? That's Bill's. Well, uh, you have to be good to get on stage at T.T. Hey. The Bears. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're, they're on early. So don't come don't come fashionably late because you'll see some dumb guy band that it's a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're Amen. there. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, it's great to meet you. Thank, and, thank, uh, you, thank you for having us. It's great. Of, best of luck. Go to a short break. The Maddie in the Morning Show continues on a Thursday. Well, that's great. What a voice. We have a lot of thank you. Yeah, we have for both of you. All of you. Can we take a picture yeah. with you guys? Like a band photo? I'm sorry. I'm stronger live. All right, follow me down the page. And Matt's face, when they heard you sing, yeah, completely you sing. changed. Really? I put my name tag on my ass. Don't we work like so much? Lisa, you legitimized us. She was great. Yay! Versus. <laughs> that was awesome. Your voice. Yay! And Tammy, your sound bites were great. Perfect. Wait, 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 wait. This is really good. Don't move. Move, move, move. Everything was great. You being from Boston <laughs> is perfect. Yeah, like you give her street street credibility. Right. Oh, Maddie's a good guy. They were like so. They made it so easy. They made it fun. Ben's like it was great. We didn't uh, get defensive about the mom right, thing. Yeah, no, and, no. But I would have. That's why I knew to be quiet. Because I okay, I like so fight that. I didn't realize right, that when we walked in there, they thought we were a gimmick. Oh. Listen to Alan just said like 50 so million times how awesome how you sounded. Oh, I love it. 50 million times. I uh, right. really didn't realize. Right. Like, it's no, a good thing we did that because we really, in the beginning, I think and, uh, we really thought we, we were a gimmick. Pictures. But Lisa, when she started singing, their yeah. faces, we're watching their faces watch her. I know, it was good. And it was... Yeah. Yeah. It was like, okay. You gave us legitimization and like... Note on perfect. Within five seconds. Oh, she was better than perfect. Why is she with us? I got a call. Okay, tell me. From people who heard us on Kiss 108. Oh, really? No, none of them mentioned if they're coming to the show. None of that see you Saturday. Babe, hey, what's up? I'm sitting here with Tammy, and we're a little busy flipping out. Nobody's coming. <laughs> I got a call. Okay, tell me. From people who heard us on Kiss 108. Oh, really? No, none of them mentioned if they're coming to the show. None of that see you Saturday. That's awesome. Email that to me right away. It's a great shot. Already did, bitch. I'm ahead of you. People don't read the email. They said, do buy tickets ahead of time. And we have tickets available at the door. Jill Gordon. I tried calling her. I can't reach her. You know what we need to do from now on? Regardless of whatever we think, we need to sell tickets online. I remember you and I discussed it. David 
was able to print out in his office the poster for, to hang on T.T. the Bear as the night of the God show. Bless him. It was supposed to be a low-key gig until Scott challenged us with this challenge that we now hyped it up. Right. And yes. Yeah, it was, supposed to, it was supposed to be a practice gig. It was not supposed to turn into this. No. We want it. Do we... What is going on upstairs? Sam! Come here, for all of you. Tammy and I are working. What are you doing up there? Because we're trying to make phone calls and we can't. Why are you guys are bouncing on my floors? I'm sorry. I, I they can't be playing like that. All right. If this agent comes in and it's an empty room, he's walking out in the middle. DJ, got your message. I'm so happy you're coming. Go buy tickets first. Scott said to us that if we have the right show and the right vibe when it comes back on the 6th, we make it to South by Southwest. That would be just so the ultimate for us to be able to go and play. That's where we're going to get legitimate. Babe, what's up? I'm sitting here with Tammy and we're a little busy. We're flipping out. Over. Just, we want to make sure people are coming and... I had a suggestion that why can't we buy tickets and sell them to people? Tammy and I are not available to sell tickets to anybody. Well, I would go laying awake at night worrying about that. You should have better things to lay awake at night. Right. You know the fact what? that I suck as a drummer? Okay, I'll lay awake and worry about that. Exactly. Okay, I love you, bye. Love you, bye. You're drunk. <laughs> I know, all of a sudden you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. There's no sequel. Mommy's got to climb it. Daddy's on crutches. What? He can't do anything. Me, Mommy. Uh, what do you mean, wasn't it? Like, rhythmically, were we all off? Were we not in sync with each other? We can't, we can't do that tomorrow. It. We can't. We got to make it like, it's sang the wrong lyric. Do what? Because I know I was on, you know, I was watching that. Daddy, jump with me! What? Too puffy up here, Ed. We're not done yet. Tonight is the January 6th gig that Scott Austin's coming to. So, I'm petrified.